So in this video, I want to talk about the destruction of the black community. In lieu of recent events that's been going on in the community, we need to discuss why things are happening. Why are women against men? Why are men against women? And when we look at why things are happening, we can further understand the divide within the community. This video that I'm about to play came from 1986. And I want you to pay very close attention to the mentality, to the outlook, to how the women back in 1986 were talking. In order to get to the root of the problem, you have to understand why things are happening. So before we can fix the problem, we have to understand where it started. Raise your hand if you're married. None of you are married. Raise your hand. Right there. This is 1986. And this man said, raise your hand if you are married. Nobody raised their hand. Let's keep going. And if you would like to be married to your baby's father. One. <laughs> the rest of you who don't plan to get married, why don't you plan to get married? I'd like to know that. You, you already have your child to think about and then a, a whole family to care, to care for. You know, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. And then you don't want the commitments. I wouldn't want no man holding me down. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Because I, I think I can make it as a single parent. Say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Listen at what she's saying. I don't want a man holding me down because I think I can make it as a single parent. But don't you think you might need help in raising that baby? Yeah. From a man? Not really. I didn't have a father. My father wasn't in the home. So, you know, it, it really... Male figures are not substantially important. Not substantially important. Not substantially important. This is why, guys, and now I'm going to go in on the men. This is the reason why black male leadership in the home is so important because you have young black girls on programs back in 1986 saying things like this and you know why they're saying things like this because we weren't in the home why would a young girl feel as though it's okay to raise a child all by herself because of the choices her mother made. You have to understand, people, the family dynamic is already in chaos in the black community because we have the man is absent from the home. The single mother is now left to raise children on her own. It, it's hard to raise children on your own not to add insult to injury but if you look at it black women in america aren't making a lot of money so then you want to add a child on to that my father wasn't in the home so you know it, it really male figures are not substantially important in the family my father wasn't in the home so male figures were not in the family. They weren't substantially in the family. If you look at 1986 and you look at 2023, it's the same cycle. It's the same cycle, just different people in different years. And this is why black men, we preach to black women, choose your mates selectively this is the reason why black men we preach to black women hey make better choices in men hey you don't need to be a single mother 
hey, do something different. But now in 2023 and prior, we have the celebration of single motherhood. We have the celebration of baby showers instead of bridal showers. We have single motherhood. We have people that are making bad choices in men. And women love to say, okay, it takes two to tango. I'm going to challenge you on that. Who has the child? Got him. We fucking got him. It does. It takes two to tango, but who has the child? At the end of the day, the woman has the child. Therefore, it's the woman's responsibility that if she doesn't want to have a child at a young age, she takes precautions to do so. But this is something that we don't talk about in the black community. When we look at the black community, the woman is not made to take accountability for her actions. Case in point, a woman goes out, has children by two, three, four different guys, goes on TV, doesn't even know who the father is. People are empathetic and sympathetic. But a man does the same thing. People want to bury that man. People want to bury that man that made a bad decision, but with a woman, she gets a pass. And we see this far too often in the black community where women are allowed to make all the mistakes. They're allowed to antagonize men. They're allowed to get in a man's face. They're allowed to do whatever they want to do, and they don't get consequences. They get caught on. They don't get repercussions. They get well wishing. That's the issue in our community as far as blacks. And that's an issue in the world. Because women don't like to be held accountable for their actions. Because when they are, they do not like it. A woman will justify having a child with two, three, four different men. And they'll say, oh, I was young. Oh, I didn't know. I made a mistake. And we just watched a video that in 1986, young black women raised a child all by themselves. So if they think like that in 1986, there is no surprise that women act like this and think like this in 2023. And they will continue thinking like this. So I'm going to say this. When does it stop? When are black women going to take accountability and say, you know what? I messed up. Because for too long, black men have been the brunt of the discussion. As an advocate for all black men worldwide, I stand and say enough is enough. It's time to hold black women accountable for their actions. It's time to hold black people accountable for their actions. But it, 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 it's all right when we were talking about black men, how black men need to do this, black men need to do that. We don't want no scrubs. We don't want no bums. We don't want a buster. Six feet, six fingers. But when... Men say, I want an athletic woman. It's a problem. When a man says, I don't want to deal with a woman with multiple children, it's a problem. But when women do it, it's a preference. Think about that. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.